Tuxedo cocktail. Use a mixing glass, one dash of Angostura bitters, one spoonful of sherry, one half of Old Tom Jim, one half of Italian vermouth. Fill it with ice, mix it and stir into a cocktail glass. That really does sound lovely. Oh, oh blast, didn't see you there. Welcome to the Leng Libation. The poor hate me cause they weren't no solving. Gunman sound said the club said no smoking, but we brought that smoking. I'm the best of my age, no boasting. We know fanboys hate when I'm ghosting. JLS thing, no smoke, let me jump on the tech, call my babes and lotion. And we're back, it's Leng Libations. This is the second time I'm filming this video. Not due to anyone in particular's fault or anything. But yeah, we're back at the watermark. My good friend Diane Philippe also hooked us up with this area. So today we are making a Mai Tai, but I've got a very, very special rum. My good friend Rory has hooked me up with some libations rum. Now this rum is distilled in Yorkshire. It's got some tasting notes of van Madagascar vanilla, orange peel, clove. It's really, really lovely dark rum. I and mean, it's sweetened with honey, but they don't use too much water with that honey. So that means it's not overly sweet. You get a lot of spice rums out there that might have a really kind of sweet nuance to it. This has got a lot more depth to it. I really like this. Today we're gonna to be making a Mai Tai with it, but you can do anything with it. You can do an espresso martini, you can do a lovely dark and stormy. The world is yours with this one. But yeah, libations rum is gonna be awesome today. And this is what we're doing. Boom, so let's get on with the Mai Tai. You know, no time like the present. Now this is a tiki rum based drink. Obviously we're using the beautiful libations spice rum today. Um, traditionally this cocktail has a little bit of light rum and some golden rum. As I said, I wanna use this. It's not too sweet. It's got some really, really good kind of depth and flavor to it. This is a shaken drink. So, I mean, if you've seen the espresso martini video, which I hope you've seen it by the way, um, I'll show you how to shake cocktails using various things. You can use a flask, you can use, uh, I think I use a Calypso bottle, you can use a little bit of Tupperware. There are no rules to this game, guys. Use whatever you want. We're gonna start with this base spirit, libations uh, rum, as I said earlier, distilled in Yorkshire. Got beautiful notes of Madagascar vanilla, orange peel, clove. Um, a bit of sweeten with a little bit of honey, as I said as well. It's not overly sweet though, so I'm using a full, uh, full 50 mils of liquid in this one before I lose myself. Traditionally a Mai Tai is used with light rum and golden rum. As I said, I love this spirit. So today this is gonna steal the show for us. Next thing is Curacao triple sec. Now this is my favorite triple sec on the market. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. It's the Pierre Ferrand dry Curacao. If you're interested in exactly what I'm using it. Be up Kirsty from Identity drinks all day. We like this one. So we're gonna go with half a shot, 12.5 mils in there. Oh, next is the limes. Why are you liming for? We are gonna use a full lime. I haven't got a Mexican elbow to hand. Actually, I probably do. I'm in a very well-equipped bar here at the watermark, if you didn't know. But I'm just gonna squeeze these in, guys. Full lime, squeezed in. Bosh, easy. Sorted, done, nice. So, we've got our pineapple, and you wanna find the smallest knife that you've got at home to chop this up. We're gonna go nice and easily. Like that. You know what, that was actually not necessary. I've got a smaller knife and it's way more effective. There you go, Sam's getting excited for once. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I wanna do about a ring of uh, fresh pineapple. The reason I'm putting fresh pineapple in is, well, I like pineapple. I think that's about it really. There's no other main excuse. They up very roughly into cubes. Look at that, you can see that it's all rough and, you know, rough and ready like, like me. <laughs> So I've got the pineapple in there, I've got my lime juice, I've got my libations rum, and I've got my triple set. The next thing that the recipe calls for is orgy. Now orgy is an almond sugar syrup. I don't have orgy on me today, so I'm gonna, you know, do a slight little different change. I'm gonna go for some fresh unsalted peanuts, and I go a little bit of uh, fresh cane sugar as well. It's important that you get unsalted nuts as well. You don't want a really salty drink, it will ruin it. To make simple syrup, and throw some peanuts in with some pineapple, so that's what we're doing today. I didn't measure that, but you want to do about half a shot, guys. Half a shot's good. Boom, and now what we do, we give it a shake. Ha! Right, so, shaking up our drink. It's looking all nice and shaken. Lol. Um, now we're just gonna chill the glass. Tell you why we chill glasses, Jack. It's to chill them. We wanna keep them cold. If you pour a cold drink into a warm glass, it's gonna change the taste of that drink a little bit. I mean, not massively, but keep the glass cold. If you've got a little freezer, if you're bougie like that, put your glasses in the freezer. Right, 
Done, sorted, that's pretty uh, cold. Get rid of the excess water as always. And we're gonna strain our cocktail in very, very, very simply. Like this, get a fine strainer. If you don't have a fine strainer, don't use one. Oh, that is... Now it's coming out a little bit slower because I've got all the fresh pineapple in. Oh, that looks so good, I need a taste. Oh, mate. So that is, you can really taste that libations rum. That's not overpowering. And mainly for me as well, it's not overpoweringly sweet. This will go really well in like a espresso martini or a rum old fashioned, anything like that. Now, next thing is, I'm gonna top up the ice. And then you wanna make it look pretty. It's all about pretty drinks. So we're gonna give a little bit of a dark rum float, you know. Why not? Just a bit of color. And a little bit more extra booze, why not? Nice big leaves. Woo! Oh, this is looking good. And we're gonna finish it off with an orange, orange wheel, I think, why not? So there we have, guys. This is my Mai Tai, using the very, very decadent libations rum. I do recommend getting it if you're not an overly fan of uh, overly sweet rums, spice rums, that is. Try that, it's really, really good. Got a lot of depth to it, as I said. There's the Mai Tai, guys. Enjoy. Whoa! Yeah, again, thank you to Rory for coming through and dropping me this bottle. It's really, really great working with it. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be used in the Mai Tai, guys. You throw it in an espresso martini. A rum espresso martini would go really well with that. In fact, using that nutty kind of syrup as well, bit of different nuances. If you've got some orgy or some almond syrup, just throw that in, it'll be banging. But yeah, it's another episode of Leng Libations. You know what to do. Insert bell. Bang, we're out of here. Safe, have a good day.